Right. So what I was saying about the, the Mercator projection yeah. is that it was a brilliant innovation. Uh, and for many people, it's the first flat map of the world they've ever seen. Uh, and it changed people's views about the planet, really. It's the, it's the first time that the planet was really concise. But because of the way it's made, uh, it's biased in a certain way. That Greenland uh, it looks the same size as Africa. And in fact, Africa is 14 times bigger than Greenland. So when I was trying to think about, uh, as I was coming here for this lecture, uh, what are the similarities and differences and how can I tie it in? And the one thing I realized is like, in Wikipedia, because uh, at least to this stage, we've been written by super geeky male computer geeks like me, parts of the world look really big and parts of the world look really small. So if you look up, uh, you know, Star Wars, you get, you know, literally hundreds of articles about every character, every movie, every spin-off book, everything that ever happened in that universe. Uh, but if you look up early childhood psychology, it's a little minimal. And so the map of the world of Wikipedia, like the Mercator map, is very good for certain purposes, but it's not exactly even. And I think that's an interesting comparison.